It no, was... you know what, John? Cut it out. This isn't funny. Just... I'm not trying to be funny. <laughs> you two. Hey. The two that came back for second season. We I lived. mean, what is it about yeah. this couple that audiences can't get enough of? I, I I didn't even know they couldn't get enough, no. but I'm excited about that. In this uh, in this season, season um, you know, uh, Greg looks uh, less happy with me sometimes. And we're having um, a sex. We're having a couples therapy right now. Right, right. Yeah. Well, I'm the therapist. Yeah. yeah. And I feel and it. Seems, you seems two need to work on some stuff, yeah. some communication. Well, yeah. <laughs> we're in this very very romantic part of the world, and. Um, you know, Greg just seems sort of, uh, sort of cranky and yeah. uh, preoccupied. Little, uh, little third party problem, but you know, it's okay. He he got a little upset about that. Uh, and and we'll see where that takes us. Yeah. I mean, see where it takes us in season two, uh, Jennifer. Yeah. The Emmy. I mean, the win. Congratulations. Oh, the speech thanks. was. Perfect and, and amazing. No, it truly was. Did you notice now, that the music was Hit the Road, Jack? <laughs> I did. So, <laughs> like, yeah. It was perfect. It was perfect. It was so mean. <laughs> I, I, I loved they it. Should've, you know, they should have just... I, I, I think a giant but, hook would have been just so much more honest. It's like... Yeah. They should have just, just that? taken yeah, you yeah, out I mean, the really, stage. She yeah. wasn't taking any more time than anybody else, but they were playing Hit the Road, Jack. Which and, I thought was... Yeah, I, I had a guy come up to me and he was like, you know, I was the one that uh, had you... Uh, you know, had you played off, or whatever. And I wouldn't was, admit that. Yeah, I know. I was like, <laughs> he was very pleased to tell me that. You, I was like, oh, you're okay. Uh, not, oh, thank you. You know, whatever. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to. Say. I didn't want to go like, right on. Yeah, you should. I'm thank you. Know, I don't know. It was very but bizarre. now that you've let it kind of yes. soak in, it's been a, it's been a, a minute, and you've kind of absorbed it. How did it? How did that play into? Um, how how are you feeling? First of all. I didn't have my act together. I didn't think, you know, so I, it would have been a complete fumbling thing. So I, I think it was good that the hook did come and yank me off. But <laughs> no, but the only thing you want, though, is there are these people that have helped you your whole career, people that did these extra things for you, including Mike White, that you don't get to say. But, you know, you can say it in private or yeah. whatever. But, you know, sometimes you want to sort of, you know, scream from the rooftops, like, thank you for that. But that's the only thing. You want to thank people. But I'm thrilled. Yes, you know, you know what I like? My first half of my life, I had giant expectations. I thought I was going to be the queen of Monaco. I actually verbalized it to someone I thought I was going to, you know, I had these very unrealistic things, uh, thoughts in my head as a young person. And I like, as I get older, um, I have no expectations as an older person. And I just love it because then these cool things happen. I should have just been not expecting anything my whole life and it would have gone better from the beginning. I, you know, um, I'm thrilled that. Um, no expectations can lead to, uh, you know, the world wanting to give you a few th things or something. I, I don't know That's what That's a good is. piece of advice, though. That's mm -hmm. good sound advice for walking into the world, not expecting anything, and then everything surprises you, you know? Yeah. But right. you truly, every character you touch becomes iconic, and I don't know what the secret sauce is, but you, you've just figured it out, and so... Uh, I'm just so happy for you, and congratulations. I didn't get to say that the night oh, of, but... Nice. Um, I feel like everyone and their mother was traveling in Italy this summer. Yes. It was all over the gram. So what was it like shooting in Sicily? Well, the beautiful thing was when we first arrived in Sicily, it was in February. There was, I mean, in Taormina, there, there was wow. nobody. The streets were, I mean, you remember there was, there was only a few restaurants open, but you'd walk the streets at night, even in the early evening, and there was nobody. Everybody was gone. So it was a real surprise when we got towards May and then the throng. You the just, tourists like, start you, coming. You didn't realize that it would be quite, you know, it's like, this is beautiful, romantic little streets in a lovely town, and then it turned into uh And then John Grice didn't realize how famous he was until the tourists showed up. <laughs> and then these tour, you couldn't walk down the... That's not true. You couldn't walk down the Corso with all these tourists. Everyone knew who John Grice, everyone went nuts over John no, Grice. That was, it was actually the flip. It no, was, you know what, John? Cut it out. This isn't funny. It's just I'm not it. trying to be funny. Just stop. Stop it. <laughs> Let's see. We argue. You it know, happens. I love it. You. This is the couple's therapy. We're continuing yeah, it. You argue, keep, and we're working it's through it. Be, it's great. You know, all day. What was the pressure like going into this season? With a script like this, there was no pressure at all. I speak only for myself. <laughs>
Yeah. Oh, are you kidding? I couldn't. It was like a horse. So <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Ring that bell, baby. Give it to me. And and when you get a script like this, what is it about these characters in this world that makes you really want to dive in? <laughs> well, they're just very carefully written. Uh, my character has a lot of internal conflict with which I as an actor love to play. Mm -hmm. Listen, as someone who's seen it and seen both seasons, that bar was met. I mean, this is, it's so, it's so brilliant. It's its, its own entity, but it's, it still has threads of Mike White. Let's talk about Mike. What, how is he the captain of this ship? Oh, there's no doubt. Uh, he's the, he's the, he is uh, Leonard Bernstein at the, at the podium. You say, okay, wherever you want to go, baby. Yeah. <laughs> so get that baton up there and, 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 I'll go. and go. And and he what he wants is what is the best you have to offer. Wow. We gotta ask about our Canadian boy, Adam. What was it like working with Adam <laughs> and, and having this this <laughs> this dynamic between the three of you, really? That's that's what where the magic is. He brought a real specificity to that role because we represent three very different generations with very different attitudes towards, especially with men and women and the masculine and feminine. Mm -hmm. And I think he really represented that generation in a, a smart, authentic, and very human way. And he's just a lovely human being. And we, I just like being around him all. Yeah. Yeah, he's a good guy. The first time we got together, uh, we learned that we were going to do the show. Michael called me. We both live in New York and said, let's have lunch. And that's the first, I said, absolutely. And we got together, we had lunch, we talked, became friends instantly. But when we got to the location hmm. and we met Adam, the first thing we said was, let's have a rehearsal. Do, do you mind? He said, absolutely don't mind. He jumped right in. Great. And we rehearsed on our own uh, many times. And he was there with bells on. He's, oh. a, he's a pro. Was there pressure going into season two knowing just how, how much of a fan favorite the show was? Oh yeah, right? Oh yeah, there's, there's pressure. <laughs> there's still pressure. Oh yeah, I, I'm feeling the kind of anxiety of that pressure and this hype surrounding the show more now with it actually coming out. Mm -hmm. But I feel like honestly, when I was, when we were filming, I felt almost like, I always put a lot of pressure on myself, kind of no, no matter yeah. what the circumstance or situation. So that's always there, it's yeah. always looming. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, with this, because I had so much confidence in being able to like, I, I already respected Mike so much and know his capabilities. I know that I'm gonna be a part of something that I'm gonna be a proud of being a part of. So yeah. it's like, even if I, it's like sometimes if you don't know that going into a project and then you feel bad doing a scene personally, it's like, oh no, what's this gonna be? But even if I felt bad after a scene personally, I was like, you know what, but the, the final product's gonna be okay, because it's yeah. Mike. It's in Mike's hands. Yeah. yeah, so there was like almost mm -hmm. a... And the scripts was, are yeah. so good that it's just, it's gonna be good. Yeah. yeah. So that was pretty, that uh, relieved some of the anxiety. Yeah, but that. now, the anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah. yeah, I definitely felt, yeah, a bit of pressure coming in. But yeah. I mean, I, I kind of used it for my character a bit too, kind mm -hmm. of, because he's a little bit like, in his head as a guy, so I'm like, okay, I can just kind of stay in my head a little bit during filming, so. Yeah. Kind of helpful. Jennifer Coolidge, I mean, legend, mm -hmm. iconic. She's actually an I icon. Yes. She is, and every character she touches turns to gold, truly. It's mm -hmm. it's these iconic people that she, she completely immerses herself in. Mm -hmm. um, what was it like to work so closely with her? And, I mean, bend and snap forever and always. Yeah, that's the thing. I didn't bring up any of her past iconic moments with her because I'm sure she gets enough of that. But yeah. um, I wish I could have bent, bent and snap with Jennifer. Maybe tomorrow. The, Maybe the tomorrow. TikTok that would go viral with that, I can imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Are you on TikTok? No. <laughs> um, but maybe I'll get it for that. Uh, no, yeah, Jennifer is an icon. And mm -hmm. she's, like, the most unique human being. Um, she's kind of everything that you want her to be and even more interesting and like unique. She's uh, her out there-ness and her you never know what to kind of expect with where she's going. It's like, it's so charming. It's so um, actually who she is. Um, and I found just like her and Mike have this very, I feel like specific kind of thing that they do when they're during a scene, like when they're really finding 
these big moments or these like you know iconic things from the last season um like I got to watch that I got to be like you know in these over the sh over my shoulder shots just like watching her kind of just go and explore and do all this and I thought it was funny I thought it was inspiring I learned a lot we're such massive fans of the first season just independently watching it and being surprised as I think as everyone was not no exactly knowing what it was going to be and then it being so fulfilling and amazing it was just made me excitement right I yeah. mean um, obviously there's some pressure but, it, but our job as actors is to kind of ignore that noise and just try and do the thing on set but, it, mm -hmm. but you know it was mostly excitement to work with Mike because he's so damn good yeah. yeah let's talk about Mike because he really is this genius that everyone's wanting to work with these days especially after creating White Lotus and other projects so what is it about him that really, you know, owns being the captain of this ship? And what was it like to kind of have a front row seat to his his work? Mm. Well, one of my favorite things about Mike is that he doesn't um, play to expectations. He's really, really authentic, you know? And, and I've never worked with someone who wrote every single episode by themselves and directed it by themselves. I mean, that's such a unique thing for somebody to do. Um, and he did it in a way that was so <laughs> relaxed. I mean, he never raised his voice. He never got frustrated that we could see. I mean, he just was a great leader in that way. Um, but I think I think his authenticity is, is, is one of his superpowers, you know? Yeah. And I'm sure that's like a dream as an actor to step on set with a director who's so willing to also collaborate mm. and feel like how you want to build these characters. It's not completely his vision, it's also yours. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's razor sharp with what he wants and what he writes, but then, yeah, he, there's an openness, and that's what we found was so, you know, refreshing and, and opening for us as, as actors. Talk to me about the pressure going into this season. Well, in a funny way, it also just feels like it's a it's a new story. You know, these are new characters bring their own hinterlands, um, and the location I think also changes the tone of of this second series. So, um, yeah, I mean, hopefully it will be judged on its own terms. Yeah, I mean, I think the pressure. You know, I think it's a lot. It's a they're like big shoes to fill. You know, because the the first season was so popular and. So I think we all had a feeling of nerv nervousness about it. Like, I hope we, you know, I hope we live up to the hype and um, I still do. I have no idea how it's going to go down. And, you know, obviously the show won so many Emmys and yeah. um, just got a little bit of attention, just it's a little, a just a little bit. So, um, but I think like, you know, the genius of Mike White is that he, he's, he's 10 million steps ahead of everybody. He's written a season that, can't be compared to the first season mm -hmm. because it's just it's really different and um obviously the location is different but um but the show is informed by the location is informed by just everything so um I think we all kind of co we're, we're comforted by that to feel like it doesn't matter because this has nothing to do with the first season like the video then hit the button or better yet drop us a comment then check out our latest videos here and don't forget to subscribe by hitting the button here for more celebrity interviews and entertainment news.